everyone. I'm going to go over how to replace the hot end on the A5 or the A31. So the tools that you're going to need are all found in the tool bag that came with your printer. You're going to need a 2 millimeter Allen wrench, a 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench, which is the smallest one, this double-sided wrench here, this small nozzle wrench for the printer itself, and then any replacement parts that you might have. So you may have a replacement hot end or maybe just the nozzle, maybe something like this that has the nozzle and one of these little couplers that we put on here, and possibly even a Capricorn tube like this, like this blue one right here, or another white PTFE tube. So what we want to do first is we want to plug in and heat up our printer and remove any filament that might be in it. So once we plug in and take all of our materials out of our printer, then we're ready for the next step, which is unplugging our printer. And then we are going to use our two millimeter Allen wrench to take this fan cover off. And we'll use these two bolts right here. Because what we want to do is, depending on what your maintenance is, you might have to replace this entire tube here, which means this little coupler here, the tube, this coupler here and the hot end. And to get to all of that, we'll take this fan shroud off to get to this part. Now, if you're just doing the tube, you'll also have to do this because we have to take the hot end off. Now that I've taken my fan cover off, I'm gonna go ahead and plug my printer back in or turn it back on. And you'll see that this fan turns on right here. Now we'll take this fan shroud and we wanna be careful to not stick anything in these blades so it breaks and we can kinda of hang it over here so it will be out of the way. Now what we wanna do is we wanna actually heat up our printer. And to do that, we're gonna go ahead and tap up on this button and then go to setup and then preheat soft pull. And what that does is it heats our nozzle up to 100 degrees Celsius. That's the temperature that our filament, our PLA filament, turns from a liquid to a solid. The reason that we want to heat that up is so when we remove this, the hardened filament that's inside here won't be stuck. So I'm going to be going ahead, uh, going ahead and replacing the entire hot end, but you can use this video for whichever part that you need. We can watch my temperature right here, and as soon as it reaches 100 degrees, then we'll be ready to start. Now, mine's at 100, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise my gantry up right here. So you can spin this lead screw right here. I can spin it right here. If you have a little coupler, you can spin on the coupler too to spin this and lift this whole gantry up. And that's so we can get underneath it and make it easier to work on. So now that we've moved this up, what we want to do is we want to remove the old tube. And to do that, you can press down on this coupler, and this is where this might come in handy too, and you can pull up on this blue tube. Now if it won't come up, like mine, like this is stuck, because these teeth are here and they're kind of locked in place, I might have to just replace the entire part. Or if you already have this tube out, then we don't have to worry about that stuff. So what we'll do is we can use our small wrench here to undo the nozzle that is underneath here. So we can use this to pull off our cover, our silicone cover, and we wanna be careful because this is really hot and we don't wanna to touch it. So now we can use this to actually loosen our nozzle and we can hold it up here. And then when we loosen our nozzle, and it might be kinda of tight. There we go. All right, now, if we were just replacing our nozzle, what we could do is we would just push this blue tube down because we wanna make sure that it seats with the end of our nozzle. So we can push it down all the way through the bottom. And you can see we can push, there it is, right here, it's sticking out. Now what I wanna do is I wanna pull it back until it's just underneath maybe the first or second thread underneath here to put this back. So we're gonna pull this up until it's just underneath that first or second thread.
Now that we have our tube set to where it's just underneath there, we can take our nozzle and twist it up here. Now this will get hot pretty fast because it's at 100 degrees C. So getting it started can be the trickiest part. And that's why we want to have it just about one thread up because it will get started and then when we twist it, it will press itself up against the tube because that's the biggest thing that we want. We don't want there to be a gap between this tube and the nozzle. So now that I've got it on here, I'll go ahead and make it tight. Whoop. And instead of using this one, we'll use our small nozzle wrench right here. And as we tighten, if you watch the top, this coupler right here, you'll see this will begin to rise up as we tighten it. There we go, we can see it rising. That means that it's seated up against it. And we get it nice and tight, about as tight as it can go. We don't want to break it, but get it very tight. Ah, there we go. Make sure this is nicely snug, it's snug in place. Put our fan shroud back on. Put our silicone heater back on. And then we're ready to go. And then what we want to do is calibrate our printer because we changed the nozzle or the hot end. So we want to calibrate our printer when we go to print again because the height might have changed just by even a tiny bit. That height might have changed. And then now we'll plug our printer back in, auto home it, and then print a test print. We should be good to go. You did it. Your printer's all repaired. Good luck. And if you need any help, reach out to service at nwa3d.com. Thank you.